Another hockey season arrives and the humble Broncos are back on board with some new instructions from their league president. Check their egos at the bus door and go and sit down and put your seatbelt on. The Broncos are still using the same bus company involved in the deadly crash six months ago. Its buses have lap belts, but it's not clear how many passengers, if any, were wearing them at the time of the collision, even though it's the law. The problem, many players don't see the need to buckle up. Because like a lot of guys lay down on the seats and uh, be pretty uncomfortable, so I don't, I don't think anybody would really wear them a whole lot. That's an attitude Russell Harold wants to change. If you were wearing your seatbelt, could have it made a difference? Could have it made a difference to save one life in that bus? You know, if it, if it saved one life, is it not? Does that not make a difference? That's that means something to anyone. His son Adam was less than a week away from his 17th birthday when he was killed in the Broncos crash. Russell Harold thinks wearing seatbelts could have changed the outcome. And it's it's something that needs to change. It's You never used to wear a seatbelt in your car and you do now. And it's just something that's going to have to change on these buses. Transport Canada is making seatbelts mandatory on highway buses by 2020. But that only applies to new models. And it will continue to be up to provinces to enforce. Olivia Stevanovich, CBC News, Regina. And so the use of seatbelts on buses is a provincial responsibility. Most require they be used if the vehicle has them. And as Olivia mentioned, all newly built highway buses will soon be required to have seatbelts. School buses are exempt. You might be surprised to learn the Canada Safety Council says seatbelts wouldn't improve safety on school buses because they're designed and built differently than highway buses.